So um, today the World Cup in Qatar is a proof actually of how sports diplomacy can achieve a historical transformation of a country with reforms that inspired the Arab world. I alone said that Qatar is a front runner in labor rights, abolishing kafala and reducing minimum wage, despite the challenges that even European companies are denying to enforce these laws. They committed to a vision by choice and they opened to the world. Still some here are calling to discriminate them. They bully them and they accuse everyone that talks to them or engages of corruption. But still they take their gas. Still they have their companies profiting billions there. I've been lectured as a Greek and I remind us all that we have millions, that we have thousands of deaths because of our failure for legal ways of migration in Europe. We can promote our values, but we don't have the moral right for lectures to get, to get cheap media attention. And we do not impose our way. We respect them, even without LNG. They are a new generation of intelligent, high-educated people. They helped us to reduce the, the tension with Turkey. They helped us with Afghanistan to save activists, children, Women, they helped us, and they are peace negotiators, they are good neighbors and partners. We can help each other to overcome the shortcomings. They achieved the impossible already. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Kaili. The next speaker is Madam Kavatsini. You have the floor.